All right, good morning, traders. Welcome to Monday morning. Welcome to the trading week. And uh, every Monday morning, every Monday morning, I send out a quick video because we do get new valuaries for the week. That's on the one-hour bar. So I I like to go over the S and P, the Qs, IWM, just to see if there's anything really revealing, and then also go over. Uh, support and resistance levels to watch for the week. So first things first, um, S&P, it looks like, wow, uh, futures are actually up two basis points. Um, I, I don't really send out futures levels. I know people like to do this Sunday night, but you know, I think I think last night S&P futures opened up down a little bit and you have everybody tweeting out futures levels. I don't really understand why people do that, but they do it. I don't think they're trading futures, but I, I, who knows? Um, because it seems like by the time we get to the morning, it's a completely different picture a lot of times. So we're basically flat and, uh, you know, so there's not really much to talk about that. The one thing I will say is, uh, you know, there's been a, there's over the last couple of weeks, there's been a bit of digestion. I think this is perfectly normal. I mean, we've, we had this really nice leg up. And um, normally once we have a really nice leg up as, as we had for, uh, for the month of October, we usually do a little bit of back and filling. And again, the market ebbs and it flows. So I think overall, you know, last week we saw a little bit of volatility in the beginning of the week, but we really didn't break too hard. And then you saw some things like small caps outperform. So, I mean, I, I think that's just overall is, is, I would say, pretty strong that after, you know, a huge run up that we had, in October, where the where the price was basically above the short term moving averages, just about every every day, the fact that we we really didn't get much of a of a pullback at all, you know, maybe one or one or two days, and every time we did get a pullback, uh, we managed to get well off the lows. I I think is a is a pretty strong. Um, fact, right, that, that we're dealing with. So um, let me just move away from the S&P. I just wanted to mention that um, that we haven't really moved there uh, two weeks, for about two weeks. You know, as I was putting together this weekend's newsletter, the um, I noticed that the S&P was down point, point one. Point one, so a tenth of a percent for two weeks in a row. So, yeah, I mean, we're we've been a, we've been doing a, a lot of digestion the last two weeks. One thing that you will note here is that small caps were actually out outperformed quite nicely last week. I'm going to get to those in just a second, but let me get to the this week's valuers again, and that can be seen on the one hour chart. So last week, I believe we started just around just below value for the week. Again, a lot of chopping back and forth, digestion, whatever you want to call it. This week, we're all also starting the week in value. So if you did things like sold iron condors in S&P, you probably made out pretty well the last couple of weeks because this is the range that we've been in. So we're kind of right where uh, that said, we're, we're still in that range and the levels to watch. So here's where it gets important. The levels to watch for a break below or a break above uh, are going to be 25.85 and, and a quarter on the upside and 2569.75. Again, those are the two levels to watch. Right now we're in a range market until we break one of those levels in the S&P. Again, 2585.25 and 2569.75. That's what you wanna watch for the week. For the day, I think we're starting the day below value. Uh, to a lesser extent, I would watch these, but really those levels that I just mentioned on the one hour bar, your resistance is gonna be 2579. Again, pretty thin value area. The value areas are always based on the last period's range. One standard deviation around last, uh, the last period's range. So when you look at today's five minute, this is based on Friday's uh, price movement. And you can see that we really didn't move at all uh, in the S&P until maybe a little bit at the end of the day. That's why you have a really thin value area. 2579.25 is the level to watch in S&P. Let's go over to the Qs and we'll start um, We'll start with the daily chart. Again, pretty nice uh, strength here. Price remains above the short term uh, moving averages. We're way above the November value area. Not really much to kind of look at here on the daily chart. No need to really overanalyze. We're above the five period moving average and um, and then the next support would be the 20 day. But again, let's not go crazy and kind of overanalyze that. For the week, it's just like S&P. We're, we're starting the week, I would say, 
in, in a range bound market. 154.39 uh, is your resistance to watch. And then maybe uh, if we do get above that, maybe last week's high, which is 154.89. And then support is going to be 152.84. All right, but um, I, I would definitely be watching that 154.39 and then also uh, the 152.84 if we do happen to get a little bit of volatility. On the five minute, I think we're also just starting the week or the, excuse me, the day below value, just like S&P. 154.13 is your first level of resistance, 154.56 after that. That is, or that's just for today to watch. And IWM, this is actually, uh, I would say the most interesting of the three. Um, notice what we did here at the end of last week. As I mentioned in the newsletter, uh, there was some nice outperformance uh, in IWM. Uh, that's usually a pretty good sign, sign when small caps outperform. They, they were up 1.3% for the week. So where are we on the daily chart with IWM? And again, I think this is the most interesting out of the three. Um, we're pushing right into resistance. Um, so we've had an, we were below the 50 day moving average, which is the purple line on my charts. We've regained that, um, but we've, but we're running into a little bit of resistance here. So what you want to watch is 148.73 and then look for a move, um, you know, possibly to get back above where we were a couple weeks ago. Uh, but again, 148.73, that's the level you want to watch there. And then different looking than S&P and NASDAQ, we're actually starting the week above value. 147.56 is your support level. If we happen to slip back in here, um, you know that we've got more digestion and the market's not ready to take that next leg higher. So again, 147.56, that's a really good level to watch for the week. Shortened holiday week, of course, this week. And um, for the day, small caps doing a little bit better than uh, NASDAQ and S&P. We're in value. One, basically, 149 is a level to watch, which is last week's high, which, again, I think is really instrumental because that's right around uh, you know where we stalled, uh, trying to get back into the beginning, uh, trying to get back into the value area for... Uh, for the month, right? So that's just a little bit higher here. And then your support for the day is 148.01. All right, so that's a quick uh, seven minute video on what to watch in terms of index levels. Uh, we will be going over all single name stocks to watch. Uh, we do that in the Tribeca trade room in about 20 minutes, uh, starting at, uh, at 8.50 in the morning. So we do that for 40 minutes. Uh, we do a quick rundown and uh, look for some setups in individual names, as well as all the, the upgrades and downgrades, as well as all the market movers. Thanks for watching the video and uh, have a great holiday week. Thanks.